In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to apply transparency, or what's otherwise known as opacity, to an image. Now, the best way to do that is to I'll start a fresh page here. I go to page two, and I want to insert an image I'm going to work with. But before I do that, I'll just draw out a yellow square, like so. And now I'm going to insert an image. So I'll come up to images here, and I'll come down and click on insert image. I get my open window here. And I'll scroll down to the image I'm looking for, this tiger here, and I click open and I'll paste that over this yellow square. Now, as you can see, I can't see the yellow square at all because the image is 100% opaque. In other words, I can't see through it. It has no transparency there is, and there's no opacity set. So if I click on this image and I'm in object mode as I am, I'll get information about its uh, position and its size, etc. And over here under Mask Tools, if I fly this out, I'll see the Set Transparency tool. And at the moment, set at 255, that means it's fully opaque. Okay. If I scroll this down to, say, zero, it means it would be fully see-through, and about halfway there is half see-through. And as you can see, I can see the yellow square under here now. And if I move it out, I can see the fullness of the yellow there and the effect of the uh, image that's half see-through on top of it. So that's how I set the transparency, simply up there, and I can use this adjuster, or I can type in a, in a, uh, in a numeric value. So that sets the transparency. And what I want to show you is some of the effects you can do with that. I'll just delete that yellow square. This is an example of what we can do here. If I go to images, I'll insert another image here. I'll insert this and I'll use this as a background because it's a nice background image. Now of course this is just a made up thing that I'm doing. I mean obviously any artwork you're designing you would probably go to a lot more trouble about how you do this. Now this is it set below here so I'll just bring the order, I'll bring it to the front like that. And you can see what's already happening. I've got this sort of blending of these two images. But if I wanted to do it a little bit better than that, I'd select both of them and I'd go top, right, and that positions it there. And then I can drag this out to about the right height. And as you can see, this is the effect I've got. Now what I might do is just drag that a little bit to the left because I'm, I'm sort of covering up some of the, uh, the background that I don't want to cover up here. And I might just stretch this a little bit like this and stretch it this way. Okay, so this is the sort of effect I'm after. I'm quite happy with that there now, like that. So what I want to do now is I'm going to set the transparency a little bit uh, to be a little bit more transparent than that because I don't want it to be overbearing on the background like that. And there you have it. You've got this sort of blending of the images. Now if I zoom out, I'll just show you some other things you can do. So I can select both those images together. I can come up to the Images menu and come down to Convert to Bitmap. And I'll just make it 96 dpi so it's not, not too big in the, uh, not taking up too much memory here. And I'll leave it as a solid background, that's fine, and click OK. So I've now converted this to a bitmap. But I've got this extra stuff here I don't want. So come up to Images again, I can come down to Crop. I can just slide this across like that, slide this up like that, click Accept. And now I've got my effect that I want. I want this sort of uh, decoupage thing going on where I've got an image over an image to get that effect. Now nothing stops me adding more to this. I mean I can easily add another image on top of this and I will. I'll show you. If I go to images, insert image, this fox is fine and we'll drag it out like this, like so. And the problem with this fox is it's got this green effect here that won't blend too well with the blue. So that's easily overcome. We just go to our mask tools like this, just use the flood fill, it's very quick to do this. As you can see, there's really no time at all taken to do this. So that basically removes that green effect. Click Accept. And I've now got the fox face that I'm looking for. Now I'd probably zoom this over a bit like that because I don't want them sort of interfering with each other too much. My effect, something like that. Now I need to apply a transparency to this. So I come up to Images, sorry, to Mask Tools, Set Transparency, and I'll set it down to about this level here and you can see immediately what's going on. And once again, to fix that, to make that one image, I can select both of them like this, Images, Convert to Bitmap, I'll make it 96, click OK, Images Crop, I'll just get rid of that little bit of stuff on the side there, and there you go, you've got that effect where you've got the, the tiger looking at the fox, so to speak. So that's how we set the transparency. Now another thing we can do is set the transparency by the colour range. Now by that what I mean is this, if I just move that out, actually I'll just delete that. Go up to images here, we'll insert, we'll insert that tiger again. 
and this time we'll actually set the transparency based on a color within the image. Now that's very easy to do. If you go to the mask tools again and go by color, what we can do here is say set the color to orange because there's a lot of orange in this image, apply, and we'll come back here and now we'll actually set the transparency. Whoops. I'll use the slider. And you can see what's happening here. As I slide, as I uh, adjust this, it's actually making the orange and any color based on this range here, so the colors close to orange, it's making them actually become more transparent. Now if I change that to say black, you'll see how that, that greatly influences the change now. I'll bring that down a little bit. And you can see now the black is being made transparent, the black parts. And as I increase the range, in other words, I'm using more and more colors, you can see what's happening here. It's making it more and more transparent based on the black color range. If I make it back to this orange color again, and I increase it ever so slightly, you can see how it's now making the tiger look as if he's white. And if I made it blue for argument's sake, you can see how it now, it's, now it's affecting the blue range. So that's affecting the color, uh, the transparency by color, and that's the way you do that. And that's how you set uh, opacity or transparency of an image more generally, and how you set it by color. And that's the end of this lesson.